What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm gonna be showing you a tip that allows you to have a full 360 third person view of your surroundings in Blackout Battle Royale. This tip is very, very useful, especially for the later rounds, or if you're trying to peek an area, I can already tell there's gonna be a lot of controversy with this tip, so let's get right into it. Now guys, in Blackout, the more intel you have on where an enemy player or team may be set up at, puts you at such a high, high advantage compared to the other player. And right now, the best way to see somebody maybe running up around you or in your general area is if you use the emotes. Now, the emotes are gonna take you out of the first person view and move you into a third person view. And with that, you can literally see everything around you. Plus, you can move the analog sticks 360 degrees and check your entire area. Very, very useful tip, especially if you utilize it on top of a building somewhere where you can pretty much see the streets where an enemy player may be running up on or a vehicle possibly or if you think somebody is in a room hiding you can emote and see the entire room I was able to peek this guy coming out of a window here and uh, I got the easy kill he did not even know a thing so there's plenty of situations where you can use this tip and have a big advantage over somebody in the next clip here I was getting pinned down by a sniper and I was playing super defensively and planning my attack accordingly based on where he was moving to. Sadly though, he did run away from his uh, from his death because he was on an ATV, I was on a cargo truck, I couldn't chase him down, but I knew for a fact if I had a sniper, that dude would be dead. So again, this is a really good tip to help you out offensively and defensively. The best emo to use is either the sitting bull or the fist bump. The fist bump is good because I believe it lasts the longest. However, with the sitting bull, you can stay in third person 360 degrees for the entire game if you really wanted to. I think the players who ordered the specialist edition were able to get the sitting bull emote. Um, if you don't have it, then the fist bump is the best out of the default ones. But the sitting bull works even better because like I said, you can stay crouched. You don't have your head peeking out or anything. And and it's just really hard for the enemy team to see you so if you really wanted to you can just go on top of a roof or maybe behind a bush and just wait for the enemy players to push you take their loot and move on or just sit there still now I can already tell people are going to flip out over this but I don't know if it's game breaking completely or anything like that. Definitely you do have a big advantage because you can see so far away, but for sure it does take a while for you to bring out your weapon, but even then though, it's not even that long and you already pretty much are guaranteed a kill there or you're at least going to severely weaken that player. In regular multiplayer, I guess for some situations this may benefit you or maybe for search and destroy I can see this becoming the new meta for sure, but for Dom, TDM, Hardpoint, I just think the game plays way too fast paced for this to be uh, utilized completely. But for Blackout though, you have to play at a slow pace. You have to play super tactical. And uh, like I said, with using the emotes, you definitely have the ability to play maybe a bit too tactical than what Treyarch intended to because you do have the ability to fully 360 degrees your camera and your surroundings. I don't know, but tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comments. Also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.